Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Photonatu? And in this tutorial, I'll be showing how I color graded this photo within Photoshop. And right now, we're using Camera Raw. And I'm using Camera Raw 13.0. So, this is for people that shoot in RAW. So, before you proceed, make sure to shoot in RAW and you drag the image into Photoshop and it's going to automatically open up Camera Raw. Or you can simply right click on the image and open with Photoshop to come to this option right here. So before you do any adjustment in Photoshop, make sure that you understand the lighting and contrast issues because we are going to first of all correct the lighting and contrast issues. And you can see this is what we're going to be achieving. So this is the before, after, before, after. So when, after looking at that, we're just going to come right here and reset the image back to the default. So come and reset to default. So you can see the major issue with it affecting this image is basically the highlights. You can see this area is a little bit blown out. So I just going to come to the basic panel right here and come and take down the highlights. And you can see that is going to recover the information within the highlighted area. Just like that. Then we are simply going to come and add contrast by taking up the contrast slider. But when we take up the contrast slider, you can notice that these other areas or darkest points in the image are slightly losing the details. So I'm just going to come to shadows and slightly open that up. And we are going to recover the information within these areas. Then I'm also going to take the white slightly down. And you can see that by doing those adjustments, we are simply corrected the lighting and contrast issues regarding this very image. So after doing that, we're just going to come and slightly increase the temperature because warmer images tend to be easy to color grade regarding skin tones. So I'll just come to the temperature slide and simply take up the temperature just like that. And if at all you shoot in JPEG, this option is going is, is not going to be effective for you because the information regarding temperature is going to be recorded straight on top of the image and you won't be able to play around or correct the white balance of your photo. So make sure that you are editing a raw file for this option to work best for you. So after warming, warming up the image slightly, I'll simply come to where the magic is going to take place in this tutorial, which is the color mixer and the color grading option right here. So what I'll do, I'll first of all come to the color mixer option or the color mixer tool. And I'll simply or briefly show you how this hue, saturation and luminous basically works. So first of all, we are going to look at the luminance. Luminance is the brightness level of a given color. So for example, if at all we target the magenta, as you can see, by taking, by taking the magenta slider towards the left hand side, we make the magenta in the image darker. You can see it has made this area darker. And by taking it up towards the right hand side, we are making the magenta brighter. So that is luminance for you. The next you are going to focus more on we are going to look at another option or another aspect which is saturation saturation is the intensity of a given color so by taking the saturation of the magentas down we are eliminating the magentas from the image and taking it up we are increasing on the intensity of the magentas within the image so that is how that is going to work then hue is basically a shade of a given color for example if at all we look at the magentas and we want to change the magentas by taking the hue slider towards the right hand side you are going to make the magentas more on the red side you can see that and by taking it towards the left hand side you are going to make the magentas look like a color that is on top of it which is the purpose so you can see the right hand side we make the color that we are targeting look like the color below it so for this case it is the reds below the magentas and if at all we take this towards the left hand side we are making the magentas like the color on top of it which is the purples so i'm just going to reset that so with that knowledge taken into consideration we are simply going to apply it to this very image so we're going to come to our hue and with this i prefer to slightly mute down or mute the greens so i'll come the green slider right here and I make the greens more towards the aquas just like that and i'll also make the yellows look like the greens remember i'm making the yellows look like 
the color below it which is the green color so what this does it makes the greens a little bit more on the blue side but it makes it oversaturated so what i'll do i'll handle this later on so let's first of all work on the skin tone and you can start we have some random colors within the skin tone which is the reds so we are going to come to the reds right here and make the reds slightly towards the the oranges and you're going to make the oranges slightly towards the yellows and that is going to balance up uh, the skin tones of the model so this is the before after and this is so far the before and after for the color mixer tool so after doing that we're going to come to our saturation and remember saturation is the intensity of a given color and with this i'm just going to come and simply take down the saturation of the greens and i'll do the same for the saturation or the intensity of uh, the yellow color right here and you can see right now the model is standing out in this very image so after doing that i'll just come to the magentas and slightly knock that down by taking out the such the intensity or the saturation of the magentas then after come straight the color grading and you can see that we have the midtones shadows and highlights so for this case i'll simply come to my midtones and in the midtones i'll simply come right here and add a tiny bit of the greens just like that so you can see by moving this towards the circumference of this circle i'm increasing the intensity of that color and by moving it closer towards the center we are we are reducing the intensity of a given color so for my case i'll simply come to my color and i simply select the green color just like that and you can see now the skin tone is looking better and a little bit more uniform and you can as well come to the highlights and slightly make the highlights slightly on the orange side to complement uh, the greens that we added into the skin tone but that is a little bit too much so just add a tiny bit remember in color grading less is more so i'm just going to come back to my color mixer right here and i'll simply come the luminous and simply slightly darken the oranges just like that and when you feel like the skin tones is a little bit more on the yellow side or green side you can come back to the hues and you simply take this slider of the oranges slightly towards as the red side that's the left hand side and you can see this is what we have right now and basically this is the image before after before after and when you feel like it is a little bit still on the orange side you can simply proceed and take this towards uh, the red side to get a more and better looking kind of skin tone so i just take it to negative two so this is the before after before after so this is how you can easily edit and color grade your raw files within camera or even photoshop and after doing that simply come and hit open to open the image into photoshop to do the skin retouching and final adjustments regarding the final touch-ups within photoshop so this is it for this video and if at all you have loved this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from Ronix photography Thank you for watching. I'm seeing yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.